हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हैं आप सब लोग आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हेलो अल्केन एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर जेई नीट एंड बोर्ड एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो आइए डिस्क करते हैं द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट देयर फ्रॉम Uh, if we are talking about CH3X or we are talking about C2H5X, these are mainly colorless gas. Yes, okay. Then we have uh, from C3 to C18, we have colorless liquid. Okay. So the carbon which contain Three carbons up to eighteen. It is a colorless liquid, and above C eighteen, these are colorless solids. Colorless solids. You can write down with me this thing. Okay. Now, what we are going to understand next: the nature of the bond. So, nature of the bond is polar, basically C X, right? the cx bond is always polar so nature of the compound is polar okay and there is a dipole moment also associated with it due to polar it is 2.05 to 2.15 dy dy is the unit of dipole moment okay and they are mainly insoluble in water you can write down because they do not form hydrogen bond with water so insol insoluble in water neither form hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonds with water and they do not they can break already existing hydrogen bonds in water so they can block hydrogen bonds also or they cannot form the bond and they cannot break the hydrogen bonds in water present in water water mein already exist kar raha hai bond use wo break nahi kar pate aur hydrogen bonds ka bhi formation nahi karte hain अगर हम डायपोल मूवमेंट की बात करें तो डायपोल मूवमेंट का जो डिक्रीसिंग ऑर्डर इट वुड बी लाइक दैट आर सी एल इज द मोस्ट डायपोल मूवमेंट देन आर एफ देन यू हैव आर बी आर देन ऑन इज आर आई सो दिस इज द डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ डायपोल मूवमेंट सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी इफ यू हैव आर एज अ सी एस पी सी एल देन यू हैव एफ देन यू हैव सी एस टी बी आर देन यू हैव सी एस टी आई राइट अल्काइल क्लोराइड्स की आइए बात करते हैं नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट में अल्काइल क्लोराइड्स आर लाइटर देन वाटर जनरली लाइटर देन वाटर और अल्काइल ब्रोमाइड्स एंड हाइड्राइड these are heavier than water heavier than h2o okay because of the, their densities so if we talk about densities ri is the most dense then we have rbr in terms of density we are talking about and then rbr then your rcl is the less dense you have to remember that also and because of the vulnerable forces for iodides due to its large surface area and it depends on the vulnerable forces basically and vulnerable forces increase as surface area increase is directly proportional to surface area so in case of ri the surface area is greater that's why quite the highest vulnerable forces and that's why its density is like that okay next we can talk about the boiling points 
boiling points you can write down so what is boiling points basically so as the higher the alkene the boiling point will be increases halo alkenes will be higher and the boiling points will be higher right and we know that halo alkenes are also polar in nature so they have a dipole dipole attractive forces in between them also and weak vulnerable forces of attraction are present in alkenes boiling point and density so they have higher bo uh, boiling point than the alkenes okay so they have higher boiling points than alkene because of the polar and vulnerable forces so you can say the ch3 cl in terms of that the more the boiling point is directly proportional to weight you know that right and inversely proportional to branching so we can say that if you have compound ch3 cl it's a, it has less boiling point than c2h5 cl c3h7 cl and c4h9 cl more more the molecular weight more will be the boiling point and in case of ri rbr the ri has the strongest boiling point then rbr then rc then rf the boiling point also primary mein sabse zyada hota hai 1 degree then 2 then 3 degree it means ch3 cl has more boiling point right 1 degree carbon has more boiling point than 2 degree than 3 degree chlorides bromides whatever and point of physical property is volatility kon kitna zyada volatile hai volatile means vapor phase mein kon convert hota hai to volatility we're going to talk about the most volatile is chloride then bromide then iodide we're not talking about fluorine the rcl rbr and then ri so most volatile compound must always be cri okay mainly alkyl chlorides give green edge flame with burning when they are burned and the bottles containing alkyl iodide turn violet on standing so if you have alkyl iodide you have alkyl iodide you can write down this if you have alkyl and if you have put it down somewhere then its color will change to violet color because of the presence of i2 gas so it will change to violet color on standing okay so these are the properties related to the alkyl halide all the physical properties we have checked the volatility we have checked down the boiling point boiling point is directly proportional to molecular weight boiling point is inversely proportional to branching more will be the branch less will be the boiling point and ri has the highest boiling point than br cl f and 1 degree has more boiling point than 2 degree and then 3 degree so you can remember that the boiling point of uh, cl is more than alkene and ri has the most density because of the large surface area we have discussed that dipole moment is rcl is more than rf then rbr then f okay and its dipole moment range is between 2.05 to 2.15 they are mainly insoluble in water either they are polar in nature but they cannot form h bond hydrogen bond with the water so we have discussed this today now we are going to understand the chemical properties of chemical properties also so do you know about chemical properties sn1 as sn2 reactions have you heard about this so let's discuss those so chemical properties right 
So relative reactivity of halo alkanes we have to understand first. Okay. Let's discuss this. As CX bond is polar in nature. So these are reactive compounds, right? These are reactive compounds and due to electronegativity differences between fluorine, chlorine, bromine, what we can say, they are more, more likely uh, attract nucleophile towards it, okay? So, they, they follow the nucleophilic substitution reactions mainly. Because of the polar nature, so they follow nucleophilic substitution reactions. And in case of RF, it is more like than Cl, than Br, than Ri. But in reality, it is not like that. Okay. So Ri is the most, you can say, nucleophilic reaction shows, and then RBr, then RCl, then Ra. So this is the right order you have to remember. The nucleophilic substitution reaction is given by Ri the most, not Rf the most, Ri the most, okay. And the reason behind that, the bone CI has more minimum bone dissociation enthalpy. This bone ko torna jada asaan hai, that's why ye baat hai. CI bond can easily break. That's why here carbocation will be chances are high. Hai. That's why it is more reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. And it is to bond length. The bond length between RF is very less. We are talking about bond length. So bond length is RF has minimum bond length. Then you have RCL, then RAB then R I. So since it is a highest bond length, it can be break easily. Okay. So minimum bond dissociation energy provide or it can break easily and it is more reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. So this is the main reason behind that. If you want to add up the data in your notes, you can write down. <clears throat> the main problem is the three degree is more active than two degree and one degree because of the stability of carbocation it means r3cx is more reactive than r2chx right then r ch2x so order of reactivity is three degrees more reactive than two degrees more reactive than one degree so you can write down this also so what we have learned in this thing the chemical properties the chemical properties is related to the cx bond the polar polarity of cx bond and that's why they are more likely to set up the nucleophile substitution reaction in the r reactor than rbr than rcl than rf because of the minimum bond dissociation energy of ci and the bond bond length increase as the uh 2f to cl to br to i Okay, the order of reactivity is for 3 degrees more than this. Now we are going to discuss the nucleophilic substitution reaction in next videos. Our channel ko subscribe kar dijiye. And let's discuss chemical properties in detail in next video. Thanks for watching.